What up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. We're going to talk about functionality today. Functionality is how many arguments does a function take? So we're going to create a function called sum here with an a and a b and return a plus b. Sum means adding two numbers together. So if we log out sum with one and two, we should get three. And we do. Fantastic. Functionality up here will take the function and ask for its length. A function's length is very similar to a string's length or an array length. A function length refers to the arity, or how many arguments does it take. Given the fact that we have two up there, one would assume, rightfully so, that if we pass in sum, it should give us two. So when we run it, you can see we have two. However, there are ways of breaking this in JavaScript. JavaScript has a long history of optional arguments, of reasonable defaults, of union types, where a parameter could be a bunch of different types or different types of values. You can pass in one parameter, but not the others, and the function works completely differently. And that's cool. We're a dynamic language. We run in a bunch of different browsers and on the server and in hardware. That's okay. These are wonderful features. Let's show you what happens, though, to functionary when you do that. If we get rid of B and we say, look, B is optional, it's all good. If you add one plus nothing, nothing is represented as zero in math, so that's okay. So one plus zero is one, fantastic. So we see two arguments, but what does that do to the functionality? As you can see, it's one. What if we make all arguments optional? Well, the arity goes down to zero, but you can still use the function. Right, the function still works. It returns one, but the arity is actually zero. The funny thing is, is that old school functions here have an arguments property. It's a magical arguments object slash array that tells you what arguments the function has. And a long time ago, you used to be able to do some really dynamic stuff with this. It's not used that much today unless you're doing a lot of dynamic programming. But watch this. We pass in one. And the arguments prints out a length of one. But the function arity, <laughs> right, is zero. We can pass the function more arguments later and the first time it already won and return a one but the second time we call it it has two so the arguments that got passed in is two although the function arity remains the same of zero each time that's one thing that can mess with it and the worst is is if the first is a default parameter the second is not you will still get a function that well i guess you don't require any arguments even though you are required to pass this argument, which in JavaScript means it'll default to undefined. The third way that you can really mess with it is to pass nothing. And we'll see it takes nothing, although we still know that we can pass it arguments. So although we can modify this function by using a reduce here, reduce, we can actually reduce or add in all our arguments together which takes whatever the accumulator is plus the current number or argument in this case. And we start at zero because we're doing math. So we add something. And if we pass in those arguments and return this value, it works like it did before, but now you can dynamically pass in arguments. So I could pass in as many as I want, log sum one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And get rid of the first comma there, run it. And we still have an arity of zero, you passed in six arguments and you got 21 back, but still the function has it. Be aware that none of this works inside of arrow functions because arrow functions don't have this magic arguments parameter here. But we do have restful arguments. So you can say rest. So if you name this whatever you want, it doesn't matter what it is. We can actually name the rest there. When you run it, you still get the same result of I get six items that I passed in based on this magic array, right? The dot, dot, dot says, well, I'm gonna pass the bunch. We can reduce on that array that we pass in. So it works just like the other one, but again, the function arity is zero. Be aware that default parameters and restful parameters will make the function arity not work like you really think it is. If you put very specific parameters without defaults and without rest parameters, then that will give you back the expected amount of functionality. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is functionality for both regular functions and arrow functions. When people ask you how many arguments does a function take, you'll be aware that in JavaScript, it really depends.